full moon. It's so quiet up here. Ready to rock and roll. Alright. Ray's probably thinking it's Christmas Eve. It's, it's typically when we go night hiking. It's a full moon tonight. Didn't feel like wasting it, so it's 1.30 a.m. right now, we're taking off. Buddy's very excited. You gotta love dogs. Wake them up in the middle of the night. They have no idea what's going on. I throw their harnesses on them. All they are is excited. <laughs> they don't complain like, oh, I'm tired. No, they'll let me drag them anywhere. Pretty trusting animals. Alright, so what we're doing is we're going to head up to Loon. We're going to do uh, a nice little night hike up Loon. I think this is... I don't know, Lady and Dex have been on a few night hikes. This will be our first one up Loon. Like I said, it's a full moon out. It's chilly. It's, it's July. July 24th. It's crazy. It's about 50 degrees. That's what we in the house. It's a little bit chilly for July. It has been for the last few evenings, too. It's been a little cold. I mean, good sleeping weather. I'm not complaining. It just gives me buck fever even more. I can't wait for fall. <laughs> the original plan was to go up and hike in Adams tonight. And taking a look at the forecast. It was clear in Holderness and it's clouding in now. The, the ceiling, the cloud ceiling seems to be low, but they were saying, they were calling for in and out of the clouds on Adams. I've been up on Adams when it's been really cloudy and it's thick. It's like pea soup fog. So me being by myself, having three dogs that I really care about with me, Mitigating risk is a big thing when it comes to going into the mountains, especially when you're going into big mountains. The White Mountains are no joke. A lot of people from out west might think they're, you know, oh, they're only 5,000 feet tall, 4,000 footers, but the weather can be severe. Obviously, some of the worst weather in the world in Washington. So, change the plans. As I'm getting up towards Lincoln, I mean, it is, it's 
it's cloudy. You can't see the moon as well now. But that's why we change plans. And everybody's risk tolerance is different, and you got to kind of figure that out for yourself. The you, only way you can do that is by getting experience in the mountains and being smart. But, you know, going up Adams with three dogs at night, in and out of the clouds, you know, it's just not worth the risk. I don't want to lose a dog or anything like that. So we're going to go up Loon, get a good hike in, have a lot of fun, and be, be safe. It's wide open trails. We're not on a narrow trail. We're not going up above tree line where it's kind of scrambling at the top of Adams. I mean, it just wasn't worth it. So we're still getting it done. We just had to change plans. It's always good to have a backup plan just in case things do happen like this. But, yeah, we're excited. It's going to be a good hike. It's, uh, temp's dropping a little bit as we head up north, but it should be great, great hiking weather. Probably be in the lower, lower 50s, high 40s. Good deal. Mitigating risk. We're going to, we'll probably talk about mitigating risk more in the future. We'll probably do a, do a video on mitigating risk and kind of, you know, how to be smart. And that, that applies to everything. That's why a lot of mountaineers talk to, you know, CEOs and big Fortune 500 companies because they're good at mitigating risk, and that's usually what they talk about, leadership, mitigating risk, making decisions. Uh, it's a real thing. Be a good leader. All right. as we keep it going. We're gonna stop and get some fuel. Hopefully be up by to loon by 2.30. Hit the trails. Should be great. I'm kind of excited. I'm not tired at all. I woke up. I was just ready to go. So let's see how it goes. Stay tuned. Come here, Dex. Good boy. Good boy. Buddy. Good girl, Ray Ray. Got one last push here to the summit. Steep push. Dogs are doing well, I'm sticking around. I'm being kind of loud on purpose, just because it's nighttime. There's porcupines, deer, you know. Just want to let animals have a chance to get off the trail if they are. Go on, guys. Very good recall out of the dogs, though, which is nice being really good. We've got a full moon, no clouds. But coming up here, it was kind of clouded in. So I didn't want to risk it going up to Adams. Probably would have been fine, but being alone with three dogs to handle, this is a good choice for tonight. If I get someone to come with me, I'd probably have done it, but maybe later in the future. Get somebody to get up at 1.30 a.m. and drive up the mountain. Pretty epic. Full moon. It's so quiet up here. It's so quiet. Good puppies. Come on. Summit. 
No wind. Unbelievable. Nice night. Pretty happy with what we did. Dog has been great. We're on our way down now. Nice night in the woods. Nice night on Loon. Loon never disappoints. Love this mountain. It's a special place to me. Very special place. Nice successful hike. It's a beautiful morning up there. Kind of pumped on it. Dogs are pumped on it. They're gonna sleep well today. I'm gonna go home, eat some breakfast, get the dogs fed, go to bed for a few hours. Then we're gonna get the bows out and shoot some bows this afternoon. Man, great way to start your weekend. Get up some vert, walk uphill. You wanna get in shape? Walk uphill. You live in New Hampshire? There's plenty of hills. Plenty of mountains. Just get rid of the excuses and go. It's the only way you get the experience. The only way you start to build your knowledge is by doing. <clears throat> go exercise your dogs. Peace.